What's the right way to inject Amovig? Let's find out using this block of ultra clear ballistics gel on this episode of the Headache Channel. Welcome back to the Headache Channel. I'm Dr. Alexander Krobe. I'm a full-time board-certified headache medicine doctor, and I've helped thousands of people living with headache live better. In 2018, I put out the very first YouTube video on Amovig, and it's been watched by almost 50,000 people. But it's time to take another look at this revolutionary drug that's helped thousands of people prevent migraine. In this episode, we're going to unbox Amovig, and I'm going to show you four easy steps to a successful Amovig injection. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to show you an up-close Amovig injection using this ultra-clear ballistic gel block. But before we do, please take a few seconds and subscribe to the Headache Channel. With the help of over 500 people just like you, we're over halfway to our goal of having 1,000 subscribers. If you've already subscribed, thanks, and please share this episode with your friends on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. If you've tried Amovig, let us know your experience in the comments below. This is one of a series of videos on Amovig, and I will put a link to the other videos in the series in the description below, as well as at the end of this video. Remember to store Amovig in the fridge. You can leave it unrefrigerated for up to seven days, but if you haven't used it within seven days and it's been at room temperature, you have to throw it away. Keep it in its original container, don't freeze it, and don't shake it. 30 minutes before you're ready to use Amovig, take it out of the fridge, put it on the counter, and let it come to room temperature naturally. No hair dryer, no microwave, and no hot water. So while we're waiting for Amovig to come to room temperature, now's a good time to do a little recap of exactly what Amovig is. Amovig is a CGRP injection for the prevention of migraine in adults. And by prevention, what I mean is not a medicine that you take when you get a migraine, but a medicine that you take in order to have fewer migraines, make the migraines that you do have less severe, and make them respond better to acute treatments, which are the medicines you take when you get a migraine. Basic examples of migraine prevention treatments include propranolol, amitriptyline, topiramate, and Depakote. I call those the platform migraine prevention treatments. More advanced migraine prevention treatments include Botox for people with chronic migraine, and the CGRP injectables, including Amovig, Ajovi, and Amgality. Amovig works really well for a lot of people. Over half the people taking Amovig have chopped their migraine frequency in half, and some people have even reduced their migraine frequency by 75%. There are three side effects of Amovig that are worth mentioning. The first is pretty common, and it's called an injection site reaction, which makes sense because this is an injection medicine. Injection site reactions can include things like feeling the needle, getting a drop of blood or a bruise, but often involve a patch around the site where you injected that can be red or itchy or sore, and it typically lasts a few days and goes away. There's also the possibility of getting an allergic reaction to Amovig, and that allergic reaction could range from mild, like a rash or hives, to something more severe, like angioedema, which is swelling of the throat or of the tongue or of other parts of the body. Of course, if you get any of those reactions, you should report them to your doctor, and if needed, go to the emergency room right away. Another side effect worth mentioning is constipation, which is kind of common in people taking Amovig. It's usually mild, but in a very few cases, it's been so severe that it's required medical attention. You can take either 70 or 140 milligrams of Amovig a month. You don't need a loading dose, and you're going to discuss which dose is right for you with your doctor. When Amovig first came out, it was only available in a 70 milligram pen. But now, Amovig has a 70 and a 140 milligram pen. So when Amovig first came out, people on the 140 milligram dose would be taking two 70 milligram injections. Now they can take one injection that has 140 milligrams in it. Because these are very similar, I'm just going to put one of these away, and we're going to open the 140 milligram dose. So at this point, Amovig has been out of the refrigerator and resting at room temperature for 30 minutes, and that's probably the biggest thing that you can do to make sure that your Amovig injection is comfortable. 
Don't shake it. Don't drop it on the floor. If you think that you've damaged your injector, all you have to do is call Amgen and discuss it with them, and generally they can arrange a replacement for you. So here's the Imavig box, and it's usually sealed somewhere along the front. This is the prescribing information, which is really useful and probably worth a read. And then when you get the Imavig, just lift it straight up out of the box. Before we talk about the four injection steps, let's take a look at the auto injector itself. Starting with the top right here, this is the start button. Right here, you can see the expiration date. And you should always check the expiration date and never use expired medicine. This expiration date is April 2021. Next, check the dose. This is 140 milligrams per milliliter. This window shows you the Amovig medicine inside the vial. It should be clear or possibly have a slight yellow tinge. This is the safety cap, and in this case, it's orange. You're going to take it off just before you inject the medicine. If your Amovig auto injector doesn't look like this, don't use it, use a different one, and just call your doctor or call Amgen and they should be able to arrange a replacement. So step one is to gather everything you need. Your Amovig, which has been out of the fridge for 30 minutes, an alcohol swab to clean your skin, you may need some gauze, and you may want to use a Band-Aid. Injection sites for Amovig include either side of your tummy, a couple of inches away from your belly button, you can also inject the front of either thigh, and if someone else is doing the injection, you can do the upper outer arm. No matter which of these places you choose, you should choose a site that has completely healthy skin. That means no stretch marks, no bruises, no other skin lesions, no blood vessels, no tattoos, just healthy skin. Go ahead and clean it off with your alcohol swab and let it dry. Once it's dry, don't touch that area. In step two, the first thing to do is to take off the safety cap. It should just pull off just like that. And that reminds me to correct a mistake that I made on previous Amovig videos when I said that the latex in the Amovig auto injector was in this part. I was wrong. The latex is actually this gray stuff in the center of the protective cap right there. I'm going to show the next part on my arm. And there's two ways to prepare your skin for your Amovig injection. One is the stretch technique, where you're going to stretch the skin and hold it like that. And the other one is the pinch technique, where you're going to pinch your skin and hold it like that. Either way, you choose. Just don't use your forearm, because that's not an injection site. In step three, you're going to do the Amovig injection. And I'm going to demonstrate this Amovig injection using this block of clear ballistics gel. To do the injection, you need to place the auto injector directly into your skin at a 90 degree angle with enough force to depress this yellow safety guard. When you press down the safety guard, that unlocks the start button so that you can press the start button to give yourself the injection. The moment you press the start button, a spring will place a very fine needle about a quarter of an inch into your skin and will start the flow of medicine. You will be able to see the flow of medicine because a yellow bar will appear in this window and it will take about 15 seconds. You should hear and feel a click when it's done. Let's take a look at exactly what happens now.
When you remove the injector from your skin, the yellow safety guard covers the needle, and you can barely see the needle inside of there. After your injection, examine the injection site. If there's blood, you may want to use some gauze and apply a bit of pressure, and if you need to, put a band-aid on it. Dispose of your auto-injector in a sharps container. You can get a sharps container from your pharmacy. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Headache Channel where we talked about Amovig. Please remember that the Headache Channel is for information and entertainment purposes only. It's not medical advice. If you need medical advice, please see your doctor. Don't forget to subscribe and please share this episode with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, we love to read your comments, so please leave one in the comments section below. I'll post a link to similar episodes right up here. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alexander Krobe. Thank you for watching.